and welcome to Industry Usai from Islamabad. I'm Hira Wasafa and these are the headlines. The Taliban claim to have seized the Sangay Atish district of Afghanistan's northwestern Balkhiz province. A Taliban spokesperson said more than 100 government soldiers have also surrendered. The government has not yet commented on the Taliban's claim. In the United Kingdom, G7 leaders have gathered for their first in-person talks in nearly two years, with an expected pledge to donate 1 billion doses of coronavirus vaccine to poor states. In his opening address, Boris Johnson urged fellow leaders to tackle inequality as the world recovers from the pandemic and curb climate change. But campaigners say the vaccine pledge is far too little and too late to end the pandemic that has claimed over 3.7 million lives worldwide. Vienna, the talks between Iran and the world powers on reviving the 2015 Iran nuclear deal are set to resume today. Iran's top nuclear negotiator Abbas Araqshi said the participants are expected to continue consultations to ensure full and effective implementation of the deal. In India, daily COVID-19 death toll has once again reached 4,000 with over 84,000 infections overnight. Meanwhile, in Pakistan, 57 people have lost their lives to the virus, while almost 1,200 tested positive in the past 24 hours. Globally, the number of coronavirus cases has surpassed 175 million people with more than 3.7 million deaths. For the latest updates, you can follow us on social media at Indus.news.